Hey everybody, welcome back to New Frontiers. Let's keep developing. Although, oh my gosh, folks, I have a problem. Um, let it be said, never watch my run-throughs for good strategy. I made such a terrible series of decisions in that first round um, because I thought, oh great, yeah, look, I've got the improved logistics. I'll just go ahead and colonize both of those. But I totally forgot there's a little problem. The cost to, to colonize these things. Hey, great, I've got the, the colonists themselves. That's not a problem. But I need four space bucks and two military to be able to conquer or colonize these two places. I have one space buck and no military. <laughs> and so I don't even know why I got this. I was very short-sighted. I have to admit, to be honest, I got it mixed up in my head because I thought, oh yeah, I've got five space bucks. No big deal. No, I don't. I've got one space buck. I got the players mixed up in my head. So, okay. I got to change things up. Originally, I was going to go on ahead and settle now, get both those things up and running, start consuming my gene materials and getting points and all of that, and then going exploring for more uplift. But I got to change things up. I'm going to develop. Since I've only got one buck, I need this discount. So what am I going to get? Well, I can get contact specialists, which will be free because of my discount. And then that means I could settle this um, race not with military, but, which again, because it's a red planet, you can see the red outline, it requires military to defeat these winged primitive creatures. I could instead use a contact specialist and use money at a discount. So it only costs, I get this for free and then it only costs me one. Or I could um, get the Space Marines at a discount and then I'd have the two military I need to defeat them. I don't, I don't want to hurt these guys. Let's just go on ahead and get the contact specialist for free, which by the way is worth one victory point. And now I'm going to have to go, a I'm going to have to slow my roll a little bit. I might regret this. Although, hey, at least it was worth two points. Anyway, so that's it. Now Jen is going to develop something. And I'm thinking she's in a slightly better situation. Well, I remember I was talking about this. She's going to be, once she's settled this plant, she's got two places where she could get goods, but no way to consume them. So I think Jen will spend one credit and get some galactic advertising to advertise about her minerals. Because this means during consumption, she can get rid of one of her goods for a buck and a victory point. That is very nice. Okay, so that was my turn. And now it's Jen's turn. And... Um, let's see. So, Jen could be the one to go on ahead and settle and get this planet rocking and rolling. So, yeah, let's go on ahead and do it. Jen will trigger the settling action. All right, and remember, she gets a bonus of one. So she's now got four colonists, although she only needs two for this little tiny planet she's got. And so instead of getting two more, she is going to settle the uplift mining moles. That's going to cost her two space bucks. And then she takes this, flips it to its colorful, useful side and puts two of her four colonists here. That was the total cost. And now this is ready to go. Jen now has a place that when she produces, she can get some minerals and she gets $1 when she produces on this colony. So she's making more money. So Jen, I think has an overall slightly more solidified plan than me. Okay, so um, now uh, you know we're settling. I get settled. I don't get the bonus of an extra guy, but let's go on ahead and settle this a avian uplift race by using my contact specialist. I can pay one less than the military strength necessary to settle here. Boom. And all right, so that's worth two victory points. I do need one colonist, no problem. And since this is a windfall planet, that's what that glow means. I immediately get one green tech cube. All right, boom. All right, so we're done. It is my turn. I am up and so I need four bucks to be able to um, settle my other planet so I can actually start doing what I originally planned to. So it's sad I'm doing this one at a time. Let's go on ahead and consume. All right, first of all, I get a victory point for being the one to trigger it. I am going to consume this gene technology we just got. Um, although, I would need two cubes to turn into points. So instead, I'm just selling it for three space bucks. One, two, three. Which is still not enough to get, the, to get this planet built. Oh my goodness. All right. And now Jen, she also gets to trade consume. But wouldn't you know, 
Jen doesn't have anything. So the same way I fro fro she froze me out, I just froze her out. And so it is her turn. And what is she going to do? Well, she could start producing and hey, she'd get a space buck. But you know, I think she's going to, uh, she's going to mess it around a little bit. Jen's going to send some diplomatic envoys, which gets her a victory point and gets her first place. So this was the guy who was acting, jumps all the way up here. So Jen is taking two turns in a row. Which basically means Jen was about to produce anyway to get stuff, but by doing that first, she got a point, she changed the turn order, and now at the end of the round, she'll be the one to produce, and she'll get two space bucks off of this instead of one. Isn't she a clever girl? All right. So Jen is now the first because of her diplomatic envoys. I think she's going to produce, which gives her two space bucks. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, oh, this is going to be so sad for me. All right. So, first of all, um, during production, she can put cubes on any planet that can produce, which means she will put a mineral cube over here on the moles and get one space buck when you produce on this colony. Okay. Boom. So she's right back. One, two, three, four, five space bucks. Okay. So, um, also, as a bonus, Jen can put a cube on one windfall, which normally windfalls don't produce. Jen has a windfall, um, but since she's the one who triggered the production, Alpha Centauri produced anyway. Now, the interesting thing is, if I had triggered the production, then Jen would only get to go here and not here. But remember, since Jen's got mining robots, she can produce on a windfall colony no matter. So no matter who produces, Jen will always get to produce on Alpha Centauri, her windfall planet. So she's got a nice little thing going there. Boom. That was that. Okay, and now it is my turn. Oh, wait, and um, hey, I'd like to produce, but I have a windfall planet. I can't produce anything on it because I don't have mining rope. Oh, no, but that's only for, yeah, I, I have no way to produce. So I'm just skipping this. I get nothing. And no money's going to appear here because somebody finally produced. So it's my turn. I need more money. This is sad. I am going to retreat into isolation. I'm the only one who gets to do this. I get two space bucks. Now I've got five, which is enough to get my coalition. Yeah, hey, a, 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 an alien uplift coalition? That ain't easy. So uh, it, it takes a little bit of time. Okay, Jen's turn. Jen, I think, is going to trade consume. All right, so she gets a point. And again, this is sad for me because I have nothing to trade and consume. And she's got these two cubes. And remember, because of her galactic advertising, when she consumes, one of those goods can be consumed for victory point and dollar. So first of all, she will trade one of them. She'll trade this away to get two more space bucks, like she did in that first round. So she is really starting to roll in the dough. And now she's got this other one. She has this, per, um, this consume ability. She'll consume this to get one point and one buck. Boom. Oh my gosh. Things are not looking good for me. Does Jen have nine yet? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Jen has... Arg! I just ran out of storage space on my camera. Gosh darn it. Okay, where was I? I think I was just going on about how Jen is playing awesome because she can afford one of these and I'm still back in the interstellar stone ages. All right. So anyway, so that was Jen's second. She traded um, and consumed and I could do nothing. So now it is my turn because I am the fourth player and I, well, hey, at least I'll get to do something when she doesn't do anything. I will go on ahead and settle. All righty. First of all, I get a bonus colonist and I need four. I will spend four and one colonist to get my uplift coalition going, which will benefit from my uplift race. And during production, I can produce on a gene windfall colony with no goods. So normally I wouldn't be able to produce here, but now I can thanks to the uplift coalition. All righty. And, uh, and this itself produces. So now I can start producing genes. I can produce two of them. I can consume them for victory points, or I could um, sell them for money. Okay, boom. And that was me and Jen. Oh, she has nothing to settle. Too bad for her. All righty. So that was the end of that round. All right. And there was production, so money doesn't uh, pile up there. And it is Jen's turn. And let's see here. So Jen would like to produce. Uh, but the interesting thing is now she knows 
that I will produce and I'll produce on both of my planets. And strictly speaking, I'm producing more valuable goods than her. As you can see, genes are better than rare minerals. So, Jen figures maybe it doesn't make sense for her to do the production. She should wait and have me do it because thanks, since Jen's got the mining robots, she will get the bonus of the windfall without having to do it herself. So I don't think Jen's going to produce. Remember how much money Jen has? I think it's time to develop. And Jen gets a $1 discount and she's going into the big leagues. Like say, well, how about this mining big league? So she could start producing the rare minerals that she's making on her planets and gobbling up three victory points. Um, plus, she'll get two points at the end of the game for every rare element planet she's got, which she only has one right now. But if we go exploring, you know, she's going to want to find some more. So this mining league could be the topper on her overall mining um, strategy with the mining moles and the mining robots and the mining home planet and galactic advertising to tell the galaxy about the minerals that she keeps mining is there man that's probably the best one uh, this one is about alien technology this is hey when you consume you get extra money so that would be kind of nice and it's worth let's see it's worth a victory point for every other development she already has two so it's worth two points plus two points for every um, everything she's got with one of these little uh, consume powers so, and she does have one, and she could get some more developments and whatnot, but no, 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 I think she's got to go for that mining league, right? Yeah, that's going to be awesome. So, it's cost her nine minus one is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, she had exactly eight. Right, perfect. I miscounted before, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Boom. Jen is a major mining consortium now. There goes all her cash, and boom, look at that. I mean, Jen could try to go for triggering the end of the game with just a bunch more um, developments. But anyway, Jen definitely wants to explore now and find more mining colonies. Okay, which means she wants to trigger the explorer because she gets two out of there and she gets first dibs. Right, so anyway, hey, Jen's developing. I get to develop as well. I have one space buck and no discount. What would I get? The only thing I can afford is an expeditionary force, which will give me one military strength. In all honesty, I don't think it's worth it. It's worth one victory point, but one military strength doesn't do anything, especially since I've got contact specialists. So it makes no sense. Even though I could, I'm not going to. So that was Jen's turn. It is now my turn. And I think, I think it's time to start producing again so I can get some more genes. Either that, or I could go exploring and try to get some more uplift planets. Because I can see now, now that Jen has that, I know she's probably going to want to trigger. Well, we're both waiting for the each other to, because we both get full functionality out of reduction. This bonus doesn't help either of us. Um, yeah, so we at least want to wait for some money to build up on there. So that's interesting. I think I, so I could just get, uh, build up some more cash. I'm going to go ahead and explore though, because I would like to get um, double dibs, first dibs on whatever plants come up. All right, cause, and maybe two, because I want to find some more uplift planets. So let's just draw some as they just spill out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, or no, seven. Seven. All right, what do we got here? We got a gem world. We got an alien data depository. A rebel base. Ah, uh, there we go. There's the uplift planet I was looking for. And a spice world. Alrighty, I get first dibs because I triggered this. I would like some primitive frog creatures, please. Alrighty. So I'll get them on board later. Uh, I'm going to need two. I'm going to need two military. No, I'm not going to need two military. I'll use my contact specialist with my one last buck and get these guys on board. And I'm producing more gene stuff, plus it's worth two more points because of my uplift coalition. Now, Jen gets one. Jen wants brown town if she can there aren't any ouch so none of these are particularly good for her none of them would let her produce more minerals none of them give her points because none of them are rare element planets well actually the you know, that's not entirely true because this imperium depot it is. It uh, is a windfall. So it does count. When she first does this, she would get, um, and you know, so this would count towards here. But she needs four military to take this over. 
If she had the contact specialist, she could get it no problem. But Jen's going to have to build up her military to grab this. But it's worth four points plus two more because of her mining league if she takes over this depot. Plus, um, at, once she does it, she'll have two more military and two extra military versus rebel military. So, now that she's got this big successful mining corporation, if she builds up a strong military, she'll get in good with the Galactic Imperium, which means she could start doing a little side thing of trying to take out the rebel scum in the galaxy. Ah, but how's she going to get four military? Well, she could get these Space Marines, that would be two. And she could get this Expeditionary Force, that would be one. Um, but that's it. Or, and then she'd have to get Military Industry, that would be one. Or, she would have to explore more. Or, or the Galactic Imperium itself. Um, but, oh, this is only Strong Military against Rebels, specifically. So she wants this, but this is going to be tough to settle. She'll have to build a lot of money, get these, and then she'll still have to explore to find some other planet that she'll be able to get to that will get her the military to finally get this into place. And the game might be over by then. So maybe she doesn't take it. Maybe she takes something else. Um, let's see here. Well, she knows she wants to be producing and consuming a lot. Let's see. Uh, this thing, uh, this Spice World produces blue novelty items and it makes more money when she can, um, when she trades the novelty goods that she generates out of here. Um, let's see here. This only consumes alien, so she'd need to have a planet that generates alien tech. Hey, this is an alien planet, but again, she needs a strong military to get it. She needs an even stronger military to take out this rebel base, or there is this gem world, which you could get pretty cheap. Get $1 when you produce on this colony. So this thing just produces, produces money in addition to novelty goods, which she has no way to consume. That's the problem. She only has one consumption function. None of these planets want to consume anything. There's this alien... So none of these are particularly good for gem. Wow. So here's the interesting thing. Yeah. I mean, this is a way to get more military after she sells it, but she'd have to... Settle it first with a bunch of military. <sighs> wow. Um, but still, she could pull it off. What the heck? She'll get, she, I mean, she's not crazy about it. She might never settle this thing. But she'll put it down here. Maybe it'll work out. She probably should just go for one of these. But none of these are a super fit for her. All right. So that was it. There's been some exploratin'. Jen's turn. All right. What does she want to do now? I think she wants to... Well, if she... Both of us want the other player to produce. Right. Um, or at least wait until there's some money built up. Because now Jen's completely broke too. And she didn't even get a planet that helps her. But if nobody produces, we're not going to be able to trade and consume. We get stuck. We got nothing... Or actually, I do. Jen knows I want to settle. And if I trigger settling, then she gets nothing. Well, she'll just get a couple of colonists. And she already has the two colonists she needs for this. Uh, not good. Well, okay, so Jen's going to go on ahead and produce. And so, um, she produces one over here, and she gets a space buck whenever she produces on that colony. And she gets to produce on a windfall for two reasons, both because of the bonus and because of her mining guild. Ah, all right. So that was that. No production is built up. And meanwhile, I will produce as well. Although, okay, no, there's a reason Jen wanted to do it. Because, hey, I produced over here. Oh, I know. And during production, I can produce on a windfall with no good. So, yeah, I, I just got um, six bucks worth of stuff, whereas Jen only got four bucks. Okay, so that was it. And now I could trade and consume. And for the first time, I could consume both of these and get three victory points. Finally, Earth will be fed a whole bunch of DNA. So that'd be nice. But instead, I'm going to settle. And get my little um, alien uplift race uh, working for me as well. So, first of all, I get a bonus. And we're running lower and lower on these colonists. And now, I have to spend one space buck uh, to use my contact specialist. To, normally, I would need two military to do this. I've got them on board. And they're uh, uplift. And they're a windfall. So, boom. I've got three genes now. Now, if we trade and consume, I could um, sell one for money and then consume the other two and turn them into victory points. I'm back in it, baby. Alrighty. And so, Jen, meanwhile, she can't settle anything. So, uh, she's not going to do anything. That was that. Oh, whoops. I forgot. One of my colonists had to go on here as well. Alright. So, that was the end of that round. And Jen is up 
again. So, Jen needs to start getting some money to start building. So, Jen could go exploring, trying to find um, plants that could increase her military might to get this depot? Hmm. Right. But, okay, so she's going to go on ahead and trade consume. Which means one of these will turn into, you've seen her do it before, two space bucks. And the other one will turn into one space buck and one victory point. So, Jen's continuing to rack up the points. She's got the space bucks. She's done consuming. And hey, I'll consume too. I'll, the earth will gobble up both of these, which gets me three points. And as you can see, we're starting to speed up here. Um, we might finish the game by running through all these victory points. And I'll sell this, which I had to do first, for four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I think we finally found our, our galactic civilization legs, our space legs. All right, so Jen did that. And, oh, and don't forget, Jen, because she triggered it, she also gets the bonus of one extra victory point. Okay, so it is my turn now. Um, man, I feel like going out and exploring and trying to find more uplift planets. Because I've got this guy sitting around doing nothing. I've got money. Yeah, let's explore. Whee! Okay, let's draw seven more. Give me some more uplift. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven. Okay. An alien outpost, an alien data repository, rebel miners, alien sentinels, ancient uplift race. That's what I'm looking for. Destroyed world and novelty peddlers. I will take this. Alrighty. And I don't even need military for it. I've got the money. Okay, sweet. Jen takes one. Oh, hey. Rebel miners. Jen needs two military to beat this. She could get the Space Marines to take these guys over. Once she's done that, these Rebel Miners work for her. And during settling, she can remove one rare emerald element, which is what she makes, to get two more military. Boom! Perfect! Perfect! So Jen needs the Space Marines to conquer the Rebels. And then once she's got these Rebels, she can bribe them with minerals to join those Space Marines to take down the Depot to join her. Boom! Okay, nice. And now I get one more. There are no more Uplift Worlds. Which of these do I want? Hmm, let's see here. Uh, novelty Peddlers. Uh, consume. Consume Alien Technology. I don't produce Alien Technology. Uh, gives me some military. I need military to get it. I, I have no military. But remember, I don't need military. I'm a contact specialist. For four bucks, I could take over this alien outpost instead of five military. And then this would give me military. For eight bucks, I could get these alien sentinels, which don't do anything except be worth eight points, which could win me the game. Or a destroyed world, which, boom, um, every time I explore, I get a colonist because, they, you know, everybody who survived this destroyed world, every time I explore, I find more of them and I get more of them to colonize for me. So that's pretty cool. And it's pretty cheap. Although, a destroyed world is worth no victory points. That's interesting. Do I just go for the biggie? Do I go for this and then save up to get eight bucks um, to settle this? And then I... Yeah, yeah. Oh, what the heck? Let's go big. Let's go big. All righty. Boom. I am going to make some contact with these Sentinels. You know, the Ancients of the Galaxy. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so that was that. That was my first turn. And now it is Jen's turn. And, right, oh, Jen needs to develop. Because she needs those Space Marines, which only cost her one because she gets a discount on development. So now she'll be able to take over and let's see. Oh, and I, I wasn't planning on developing. I've got four bucks. I could actually afford something. What would be good? Hmm, let's see here. What would be good? Hey, this is negative three cost when you settle an alien technology world. Nice. Let's go ahead and spend two on this. Because not only is this worth one victory point, but it just made this one cheaper. Instead of spending three, I can spend two on that to get a $3 discount. So I'm getting one step closer to finding the alien sentinels. Wee! With my alien research that my contact specialist needed. Okay. Cool. Oops. And by the way, I put this in the wrong place. And by the way, just totally as an aside, maybe those improved logistics will pay off. Because if I wait until everything, I could do both of these in one settling action if I get the money saved up first. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So anyway, so we both developed... And now I have one more action. And so I'm thinking I'm going to produce. 
because I, I can produce a lot of stuff. So let's do that. Alrighty, I will produce on my production plan and during production, I can produce on a windfall. So I'll produce over here as well. So I've got two. Unfortunately, I can't do it twice. So nothing comes over there. All right, so, and now Jen is producing as well. And even though she didn't trigger it, she still gets to, uh, to produce here and over here because of her, finally, her mining robots pay off. So we both produced, that was the end of that round. And Jen is first. So, Jen now, she has the military, right. So Jen is gonna settle, which gives her a bonus one of these. And uh, Jen is settling. She, uh, using her Space Marines, which gives her two military, is how much military she needs to defeat the Rebel Miners. Okay, and she has her little guy on there, so they're, they're on her side now. She is done. My turn. Well, I won't be using my improved logistics because I could do this right now, can't I? Uh, yeah, I can just go on ahead and spend two bucks and get this alien uplift race going that much sooner. And it's a windfall planet, so I get some gene tech right away, and it's settled. All right, so yeah, these logistics will never pay off for me, but oh well, say lobby. Right, so that's it. I've got three genes waiting to be consumed. Jen triggered that settling action. And, right, so it is my turn. Oops, I'm supposed to keep track, don't forget. So, you know what, I feel like consuming, because uh, I will sell this for three space bucks. And then these other two, Old Earth, will gobble up for three victory points. Let's just go ahead and put the five, put the two back. All right. There we go. And I'm, once again, I'm all out of technology. But I have made, I'm getting closer on the cash to get those alien sentinels. All righty. And so Jen is going to consume as well. She, so this is interesting. She could go the way she has before, where she could just make two bucks and a buck and a victory point by using the advertising, or she could just use both of these in the mining league to get three victory points, which I think is what she's gonna do. Because Jen, I mean, Jen's done. I mean, she'd like to get this thing covered, but she doesn't need to. All right, so there we go. So Jen's just going for points, 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 points. That's that. That was uh, trading consumption. And now it's my turn again. All right, so I, what do I need? I need um, nine, eight, seven, six, five. I need five space bucks. I'm just going to retreat into isolation just to get two. And now that means I have enough money to discover the long lost alien sentinels and score eight victory points. Um, nice, nice, nice. Okay. And Jen got nothing for that. Wait, oh, hold on a second. No, 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 no. It was Jen's turn. Jen didn't do that. Okay. What is Jen going to do? Uh, right, okay, well, Jen wants to settle again because she's ready to do this. Oh, no, she can't. All right, Jen's going to produce. Okay, which means, once again, she produces here and here because of her mining robots and also over here, another windfall planet, because of the bonus of producing on a windfall. Jen just made three minerals. And meanwhile, me, I only make two, one, two genes and the rest stay unoccupied. So that's pretty nice. And now for my fourth action, I'll get those last two space bucks I need. Okay. Whew. That was that. And we're going to the next round. It's Jen's turn again. So that's interesting. Now, if Jen trades and consumes, she's got this one. She'll go on ahead and take it and just um, sell it for two bucks. No, no, no. It's in... in um, Instead of selling for two bucks, she'll just get one buck and one victory point, thanks to her galactic advertising. And the other two, she will consume, or she'll send it off to the mining league and get three more points. The game is fast coming to a close now, folks. We are, there's only four more of these. Once these run out, that triggers the end. All right, um, so Jen did that, and I will trade and consume as well, which is to say, Earth, Earth will gobble up both of these and just get three points. One, two, three. There's only one victory point left to be had. So that was that. It is my turn. I am going to settle. All right, which gives me another one of these guys. <gasps> no! I need two. I need two. Oh, no. Oh, I totally, 
Oh no! Oh no, oh no! So I get one, and I could spend this whole action to get two more. But there's never going to be another round, because all Jen has to do is send diplomatic invoices. Get this? And this is the final round. I will never have a chance to settle now. Those eight points. Oh, why did I settle you? If I hadn't done it. If I hadn't done it, folks. Remember, I didn't have to. I just said, oh, what the heck? I'll just do it. I'll just do it. My, my stuff could have saved me. I didn't do it before. Right? I, I didn't do this, which means I didn't spend the two bucks. Oh... Oh, because that means now I'd have the two to get this, and I'd have all the money otherwise. Although, didn't I get money off of that? I don't know. Oh, I needed that. Oh, no, because that's the end, and Jen's got all. She's got the, and, the, and if I didn't get that eight points, but, oh, yikes. Uh, that kind of snuck up on me, folks, and in fact, I have, to, I have to admit, I'm a little frazzled now. I think I'm going to stop um, while I'm behind. Uh, that was a rundown of New Frontiers. Apologies, I know that's very frustrating. I was almost to the end there, uh, but clearly I lost because I made that terrible miscalculation. I, although, if I hadn't consumed, if Old Earth hadn't consumed those points, I would have had more time. Oh. Anyway, though, you get the idea, and now if you want to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that I in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.